think we'll have a bit of a potato reveal and see what we've got in this. This one's doing nothing, look. It's been eaten as well. But I'm leaving it because what, whatever's eating that, it's leaving this one alone. This is that one that the gardener's broke down. Seems to be doing all right, as does the one in the bag. I do have some more straw in the boot of my car. I think I might just top it up with a bit more straw, both of them. Anyway, let's see what's in this. Just like the other one, lots of worms. Big ones, little ones. Any potatoes there. Look at the size of that worm. Well, after all that, that's a bit poor. Shall we do the other one? I think we'll do the other one. The moment of truth. I'm wowing at how fat these worms are. Ooh, look at that one. These are a bit better. When? Well, that one's done a bit better. I think that one's my best one. Quite pleased with that, really. I think I'll tidy up this as well. Look what, this had re rooted itself in the potatoes. Free strawberry plant. That's the beetroot. I'm not gonna get many more leaves off that, so I might as well take that out. Another one. Rest of strawberries and nettles.
So I've put one container inside another one and I've planted in this a mixture of wild strawberries that had self-rooted and some of the cultivated ones. So we'll see how that does. I'll give that a water in. I'm going to go tidy up my sage plant now and uh, dry some for winter, I think. Three nice bunches of sage, potatoes, I should use those little leaves from that beetroot and look what I noticed over here. The last strawberry of summer, I think I'll take that off, it's precious. Everything's coming to an end. I did notice that my house plants were starting to go dormant. And the leaves, the older leaves are starting to go yellow and fall off. Sometimes it can be quite alarming how many, how many fall off. But I get a lot of new growth in the spring. I do prune them to try and get them to look like trees. From the research I've been doing, this Venus flytrap is, oh, is it catching a wasp? This Venus flytrap is um, native to North Carolina, I think it is, in the US, and it prefers rainwater. And it's raining today. A little bit of wind, but not much. So I've popped it on my window so to enjoy the rain. That's the second wasp I've seen round it. I think though I think they might be too big though, it's just a little Venus flytrap at the moment. Hope it survives. From what I've been reading, they, they're going to dormancy for three or four months, and that's to be expected. I'll keep you posted how it does. Sage, washed and dried, three nice bunches there. I like sage. Lovely on a chicken or pork. The radiator is not on but um, it's an ideal place to hang them to dry. Take care, people.